Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows Firewall in Windows 10 and 11, as you may well know, prevents unauthorized access to your network by monitoring and controlling incoming and outgoing traffic, which is a good thing. But sometimes it can block apps that you actually trust. So if that's the case, just a quick video to show you a couple of signs when this is happening and how you can actually resolve and fix the issue. Now, a couple of signs to look out for is that the most obvious would be Windows Security alerting you and notifying you that the firewall is blocking some features of the app and giving you the option to allow it access. But if that doesn't happen, then you can look for a couple of extra little signs um, that the firewall is blocking and interfering with a particular app. The first is an in-app error message that tells you the firewall is blocking some of its features. The second would be connection errors and timeouts. The third would be the app uh, does not connect to the internet. And the fourth would be features dependent on network access are not working. So those are a couple of signs you can look out for if the firewall for whatever reason is interfering and blocking an app that you actually trust and need to work on your system. Now, how we go about um, checking to see um, if an app has been blocked by the firewall is to check its list of allowed apps. Now, this is something that's buried um, in the actual Windows Security app. Now, I have mine on both systems here to the right on the system tray because I use um, Microsoft Defender as my antivirus. But I'm just going to go for a general setting how you can access this for this video because not everybody has Windows Security in their system tray. So you can follow the steps in this video for both operating systems because it is a similar process um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now on Windows 11 what you would do is you'd head over to your settings Head to Privacy and Security, and yeah, you click on Windows Security. Okay, and yeah, you get access to some protection areas. Now, for Windows 10, it's a little bit different. What you would do on Windows 10 is you would navigate to your settings, head to Update and Security, Windows Update, and then yeah, you'll see Windows Security to the left, and you would click on that, and then everything from here is exactly the same on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So what we would do is we would look for firewall and network protection. Okay. And then to the bottom, you will see allow an app through firewall. And this takes you over to the legacy kind of side of the control panel and the legacy side of the operating system, as you can see. Now, what you need to do here is you need to find the app you think the firewall is blocking and check the checkboxes in the private and public columns next to it. So if one app, one of those apps is unchecked, it means then that the app has been blocked on that network, okay, either private, public, or both. So what we need to do is, I'm just going to use a random app or component just for the purpose of this video. Let's just say remote event monitor. So what you do to let an app through the firewall, you would Click the change settings button and then here we can see you can click on your particular app. I'm just using remote event monitor for the purpose of this video and you can check or uncheck private and check and uncheck public whatever your requirements are regarding that app because obviously that will be different um, for everybody's particular usage case. And then what you do after that is you would just click on OK. And there we go. And then after that, what will happen is once an app is unblocked, the file won't um, obviously block or interrupt it when it uses um, the network once again. And just something on a side note though, if you're unsure about an app, don't let it through or install it. Okay, that's the first warning I'm going to give you. And the second is always make sure any app you allow through the firewall is trusted and secure to prevent malicious activities obviously taking place or using it to exploit your system. So always make sure it's a trusted app, but that's just a quick way. As mentioned, if you have an app you maybe you're using and you know that app and you trust that app and you are experiencing a couple of the um, signs um, that we mentioned in the beginning of this video that an app has been blocked by the firewall, then that's a quick way how you can obviously check if Windows Firewall is blocking an app and then 
go through the necessary requirements to fix the issue. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.